Now we come to Surah Al-Mujadila. The first four ayat of Surah Al-Mujadila, they discuss a particular issue of family loss. But the rest of the 18 ayat, they give us a picture of two parties. Party of Satan, party of Allah. As we have seen, when you know this dawa, this call to Allah, and the call to establish the system of justice given by Allah, when this dawa is given, there is bound to be a resistance. Then there will be a polarization in this society. Some people who come, accept the call, they are ready to devote their lives, even lay down their lives for the cause of establishing the deen of Allah. They are the party of Allah. Ulaika Hizbullah. They are the party of Allah. And there are those who oppose it to the nail. Even they sacrifice their lives to, pro to protect their interests. But they are the party of Shaitan. Ulaika Hizbush Shaitan. But this has to be identified. This struggle, this conflict, if we have a concept of mazhab, there is no conflict whatsoever. You go to your church, I am going to my mosque. That's all. He is going to the temple, he is going to the synagogue. Nothing. No argument. But regarding the system, a few people here are resenting. These multinationals, what is happening? What happened in Seattle? Then when at Davos. But these, these, these things are to happen. So, when there is the question of system, it's a different matter. When only it's a system of belief and a system of some modes of worship and some rites and rituals, and some fees, oh, no, okay, you can have your, I can have mine. But this conflict, if you want to establish the deen of Allah, then there is going to be a conflict. No escape. So this surah mainly, but you know that his shaitan consists of two types of people. One are who are openly opposed the disbelievers, the rejectors of the faith. And there is the other element, the hypocrites, who are legally with the Muslims, with the Hezbollah, but they are the fifth columnist. Fifth column. They look to the interest of the kuffar, working against the interest of Hezbollah. So this is very important surah regarding this. One thing must be clear here. This establish, establishment of the deen of Allah is not possible without a party. Individuals cannot do it. It's very simple, very logical. An individual can go on calling and calling and calling and calling, but he cannot establish the system of Allah without having a party. If he doesn't get a party, okay, he won't be able to establish. If there was no party available to do, alayhi salam, no harm to do, the people were drowned. Muhammad got, sallallahu alayhi wasallam a party. People who were ready to sacrifice their lives, to spend everything they had. So then there was a struggle, there was a conflict, which reached the level of armed conflict. The polarization became complete. Hezbollah versus Hezbollah shaitan. And then, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the help. And the deen of Allah was established. But party is essential. So first of all, please note that if you have the concept of Islam as that of a deen, you must think that to strive to establish the deen of Allah is farz. It's a duty, it's obligatory, not something additional, not something optional, no. 
It's not like tahajjud. No. It's fun. Like the five prayers. Like the fasting of the month of Ramadan. Number one. And number two, this is the fourth which cannot be fulfilled without a party. Just as you cannot pray without wuzu. Wuzu is not required in itself. Wuzu is the precondition, prerequisite for salah. Really what you want to do is salah, prayer. But for that is the precondition of wudu. In the same way, the first is to establish the deen of Allah, to try, strive your hardest to establish the deen of Allah on earth. But the prerequisite that you should be, you should be a part of a party, belong to a party. If there's no party, you stand up, call people towards you. They will join hands with you and it will be a party. If you are two, you have to pray in a jama'ah. One is amab, the other is muqtadi. If we are a two, you are a party. One is Amir, the other is Mamur. But not without a party. But when this party swells in numbers, and you know their commitment and depth of commitment reaches that level, and you know their determination to sacrifice everything reaches the, that level, required level, then there is a direct confrontation between Haq and Batil, between the truth and the falsehood, between the Hezbollah on one side and the Hezbo Shaitan on the other. So this distinction between Hezbollah and Hezbo Shaitan is the main axis of this Surah Mujadala. But in the first four ayat, as I told, there is a special family laws issue. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Qad sami' Allahu qal lati tujadiluka fi zawjiha wa tashtaki ila Allah. Verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala heard the words of that woman who pleads with you, O Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, concerning her husband, and makes her plea to Allah. An incident took place. Aus ibn Sabit Ansari radiallahu anhu. He did zihar with his wife, Khala bint Salaba. Zihar in the old Arab tradition was that if a husband said to his wife, you are to me like a mother, or like the back of my mother. Now they are separated, divorced, and there can be no, you know, reunion again. That's whatsoever, no way. Complete, permanent separation. Now in a fit of anger, Osim the Sabbath said this to his wife, Khala bin Salaba. They had children. Now Khala came to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. She was weeping, crying. What shall I do? What has this, my husband done? Where will these children go? How shall I support them? Weeping, crying. Oh Muhammad, find some way for me. And the Prophet said, I don't find any way. No revelation has come to me up till now. But then the revelation come. And Allah said, لَقَدْ سَمِعَ اللَّهُ قَوْلَ الَّتِي تُجَادِلُكَ فِي ذَوْدِهَا O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, verily, indeed, Allah has heard the verse of that woman who was pleading with you, O Prophet, concerning her husband, and make, also she was making pleas to Allah. O Allah, send some, open some door for me, O Allah, where can I go? So Allah said, we have heard. وَاللَّهُ يَسْمَعُ تَحَابُ رَكَمَا and Allah was hearing the conversation between you. In Allah Samiyam Basir, verily Allah is all seer and hearer. Now comes the solution. Allah Dina Yuzahiruna Minkum in Nisahim. Those of you who say concerning their wives, be as my mother's back. Mahunna Ummahatihim in Ummahatuhum illa Lai Waladnahun. They are not their mothers. Their mothers are only those who gave birth to them. وَإِنَّهُمْ لَيَقُولُونَ مُنْكَرًا مِنَ الْقَوْلِ And surely they are saying a very loathsome word. وَزُورًا And a lie. إِنَّ اللَّهَ الْعَفُوَ وَالْغَفُورِ Verily Allah is pardoning, forgiving. وَالَّذِينَ يُظَاهِرُونَ مِنْ نِسَائِمْ ثُمَّ يَعُودُونَ لِمَا قَالُوا As for those who do this jihad to their wives, but then they want to take back 
فتحریر و رقبت من قبل تماسہ سو ون سلیو ہیز ٹو بی فریڈ بفور دی ٹو آف دم ٹچ ون اندر دس از دی فائن فبلم جدی ظالم تو ازو نہ بھی اللہ بما کا من خبیر دس از ٹو وٹ یو آر ایگزاٹیڈ بائی اللہ سبان و تعالی اینڈ ویریلی اللہ سبان و تعالی ہی نوز اینڈ ہی از اویئر آف وٹ یو آر ڈوئنگ فبلم یجد اس ویور کین ناٹ فری اے سلیو ہی ڈز اینڈ ہیو دیٹ مچ منی ود ہم ٹو بائی اے سلیو اینڈ فری سیٹ ہم فری فسیاب و شارین متطاب عین من قبل یہ تماسہ So now he has to keep fast for two months, consecutive months, before the two of them touch one another. So Malam Yasnata, and if somebody is sick, ill, diabetic, for example, and he can't do it, So Malam Yasnata, if I am a sittina miskinan, then he should feed 60 indigent persons. Zalika litu minu billahi wa rasulihi, and this is so that you should know and be convinced that you have the real faith in Allah and His Messenger, but tilka hudud ullahi, and these are the boundaries of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, walil kafirin azabun alim, and for the disbelievers, there is a very painful chastisement. Now, these are the four ayat, which have a different issue altogether, but now, the issue connected with Surah Al-Hadid, because these two surahs are on a pair, Now that conflict between Haq and Batil, Deen and Haq, and those who oppose it, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يُحَادُّونَ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ Verily those who oppose Allah and His Messenger. يُحَادُّون is from Hadid. The same root. Had, Hadid. يُحَادُّون, يُحَادِدُون بَعْبِ مُفَعَلَى اِنَّ الَّذِينَ يُحَادُّونَ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ Those who oppose, tooth and nail, Allah and His Messenger, قُبِتُوا كَمَا قُبِتَ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ They will be humiliated, as were those humiliated who were before them. فَقَدْ أَنزَلْنَا آيَاتٍ بَيِّنَاتٍ We have already sent down very clear revelations. وَلِلْكَافِرِينَ عَذَابٌ مُحِينَ And for these believers, there is going to be a humiliating chastisement. يَوْمَ يَوَسُمُ اللَّهُ جَمِيًّا فَيُنَبِّهُمْ بِمَا عَمِلُوهُ On the day when Allah will raise them all together and then He will tell them what they have been doing. أَعْصَاهُ اللَّهُ Allah had kept a record of their deeds. وَنَسُوهُ They had forgotten. وَاللَّهُ عَلَىٰ كُلِّ شَيْنِ شَهِيدٍ And verily Allah is a witness to everything. أَلَمْ تَرَى أَنَّ اللَّهَ يَعْلَمُ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ Don't you know? That Allah knows whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth. مَا يَكُونُ مِنْ نَجْوَا سَلَاسَةِ Now this is the fifth columnist portion of the Muslim Ummah, the Munafiqoon. They used to have, they used to have secret meetings, secret consultations, planning against the Prophet, against the Muslims, going to the Jews and you know saying that we will be with you and so on and so forth. So this secret counseling Allah knows everything which is in the heavens and the earth. مَا يَكُونُ مِنْ نَجْوَى سَلَاسَةٍ إِلَّا هُوَ رَابِعُونَ There is nowhere a secret consultation between three of them. But the fourth is Allah. هُوَ مَا كُمْ اَنَا مَا كُنْتُ Wherever you are, He is with you. So you think we are three? No, you are four. Allah is there. وَلَا خَبْزَةٍ إِلَّا هُوَ سَادِسُهُمْ And if they are five, then Allah is the sixth. وَلَا عَدْنَا مِنْ ذَلِكَ And no less than that. وَلَا عَقْسَرَ And not more than that. إِلَّا هُوَ مَعَهُمْ أَيْنَمَا كَانُوا But He is with them wherever they are. Now we had this ayat in Surah Al-Hadir. هُوَ مَعَكُمْ أَيْنَمَا كُنْتُمْ Here only the pronoun has changed. هُوَ مَعَهُمْ أَيْنَمَا كَانُوا سُمَّ يُنَبِّهُمْ بِمَا عَمِلُوا يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ Then on the day of judgment, on the day of resurrection, He will tell them What they had been doing in the Allah be kulli shayin alim, verily Allah knows everything. Alam tara ilal ladhina nuhuwa in najwa. Don't you consider those who were forbidden from these secret counselings. 
This comes in Surah Al Nisa also, also at some other place. But now these these ayat, as I told you, they have they were revealed in the last period of the Madani days. Summa Yahudu no le manahu anhu, but they are doing what they were prohibited to do. وَيَتَنَاجَوْنَا بِالْإِسْمِ وَالْعُدْوَانِ وَالْمَاسِيَةِ الرَّسُولِ And they are having secret consultations among themselves for sinning and enmity and disobedience to the Messenger. وَإِذَا جَاوُكَ حَيَّوْكَ بِمَا لَمْ يُحِيِّكَ بِهَ اللَّهِ And when they come to you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they salute you with what, with which Allah has not saluted you. The salutation in Islam is As-salamu alaykum. These munafiqoon, when they used to come, they should say, As-salamu alayk, ya ayyur nabi. As-salam means death. Death to you, O Messenger. As-salamu alayk. As-salamu alayk. Omitting the lam in between. If somebody said, what have you said? Oh, I said, As-salamu alayk. What has happened to your ears? Go and get the wax out of your ears. I said, As-salamu alayk. But this was theirs. Method. وَيَقُولُنَا فِي أَنفُسِهِمْ لَوْ لَا يُعَزِّبُنَ اللَّهُ بِمَا نَقُولُ And then they say in their hearts, whatever we have said, why is not Allah chastising us? It means He is not the Prophet of Allah. Had He been the Prophet of Allah, we have, we have insulted Him. Allah should have chastised us immediately. But He is not doing it. It means He is not. It proves it is, He is not the Messenger of Allah. حَسْبُهُمْ جَهَنَّمْ يَسْلَوْنَهَا وَبَيْسَ الْمَصِيرِ For them, sufficient is the hell. And they will enter it, so, and it is a very bad and evil destination. يَا أَيُّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا إِذَا تَنَاجَيْتُمْ فَلَا تَتَنَاجَوْا بِالْإِسْمِ وَالْعُدْوَانِ وَمَاسِيَةِ الْرَسُولِ O you who believe, if you have ever to consult secretly, your secret consultation should be, not for sin or enmity or disobedience of the Rasul, but tanajau bil bidri wa taqwa. Do this consultation for virtue and piety. But taqullah alladhi ilayhi wa sharoon. And fear Allah to whom you will be gathered anyhow. Inna man najwa min shaitan. This secret counseling, party within party, the Hezbollah, but they have a special group in that Hezbollah. So this is conspiring. In the man Najwa min shaitan this Najwa is actually from Satan. The Yahazun Nadina Amanu, so that he, those who believe, they should be hurt. But he cannot do any harm to them. Illa bayzinillah. But with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَعَلَى اللَّهِ فَلْيَتَوَكَّلِ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ And verily in Allah should all the believers put their whole trust. يَا أَيُّوَ الَّذِينَ عَمَنُوا إِذَا قِيدَ لَكُمْ تَفَصَّحُوا فِي الْمَجَالِسِ فَصَحِوا يَفْصَحِ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ O you who believe when it is said to you, make room in the assemblies. Then do make room. What used to happen, you know, the Muslims have gathered, the prophets there, some consultation on some matter is continuing. Now these Munafiqin used to sit in one corner, very close to each other, whispering to each other, so that others shouldn't listen. And you know, when it was said, okay, the first of will open the place between you. Why are you so much grouped together? So, for the believers, it was the commandment. Whenever it is said, make room in the assemblies, do make it room. Allah will make room for you. يَفْعِي اللَّهُ لَكُمْ وَإِذَا قِيلَ لُشُدُوا فَنِشُدُوا And when it is said, stand, you should stand. When it is said, the, the assembly is dismissed. The parade is dismissed. Now you go. But they used to keep sitting over there and, and continuing their, you know, mutual consultations. فَنِشُدُوا يَرْفَعِ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنْكُمْ وَالَّذِينَ أُوتُوا لِلْمَ دَرَجَاتِ Allah Sa'ala would exalt those of you who believe and those who have been given the knowledge. وَاللَّهُ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ خَبِيرٌ and verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala very well knows and is aware of what you are doing. 
یا یو الذین امنوا اذا تناجا اذا ناجیتم الرسول فقدموا بين يدي نجواكم صدقه و یو او بلیو when you have to have a secret meeting with the messenger of allah subhanahu wa taala these munafiqeen because they were very wealthy people to show off that we have a special position they would say ya rasulullah i want to say something to you in secrecy so please give me time now the other congregation think that he is very close to the prophet and prophet listens to him so now to put a check this order came when you have to you will want to have a secret and private meeting with the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam faqaddamu baina yadayna najwaakum sadaqah give arms before your counseling give something to the poor before doing this zalikum khairul lakum wa akhar this is much better for you and more purer fa illam tajidu fa inna allaha ghafurur rahim but if you are very poor you don't have anything okay allah is forgiving and merciful for the poor there is no harm but those rich munafiqs if they want to have a secret meeting and hearing with the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam they should give something in the way of allah first and then come now those people they loved wealth like anything now they stopped aaj faqtu man taqaddimu bayna yadayna najwaatu sadaqa have you become afraid of giving arms between your secret meeting with the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam faizam tafalu when you didn't do it but taab allah alaykum and allah subhanahu wa taala has relented on you okay he is is giving the concession fataba alaykum fa aqimus salata taw at least establish the salah properly waatu zakah and do pay zakah definitely waatiu allah wa rasuluhu and obey allah and his messenger wallahu khabirun bima ta'malun i verily and surely allah is aware of what you are doing alam tara ila alladhina tawalla qawman ghadab allah alayhi have you not considered those who have become friends with those on whom there is wrath of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who are they the yahud maghzub alayhim maghzub alayhim yahud and these munafiq they had friendship with the yahud they are in some cases working agents to yahud alam tara ila alladhina tawalla qawman ghadab allah alayhi ma hum minkum wala minhum these munafiqs these hypocrites are neither from you nor from them they are sincere to neither you nor them they are sincere to none they are not sincere to allah they are not sincere to the messenger of allah how can they be sincere to to the jews but you know they are after their own gains wa yahlifuna ala alkazib and they take oaths on something which is not which is not true wrong and lie wa hum ya'lamun and they do it knowingly aad allah lahum azaban shadidan allah has prepared for them a very severe chastisement in lahum sa ma kanu ya'malun verily is very evil what they are doing lam tuni anhu amwalu wala auladu min allah shay'a neither their riches nor their children will be of any avail for them from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ulaik ashabun narihum fiha khalidun they are the devourers of the fire and they will remain in that forever yawma yabasum allah jamian when allah will raise them all fa yahlifuna lahu kama yahlifuna lakum they will swear before allah also as they swear before you wa yahsabuna annahum ala shay and they will be thinking that they are upon something they have some footing ala innahum humul kazibun behold surely they are the liars istahbaza alaihim ash-shaitan satan has gained the control over them fa ansahum zikrullah and he has made them forgetful of allah's remembrance ulaika hizbu ash-shaitan they are the party of shaitan this party of shaitan consists of two parts the kufar openly against islam and muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and their agents hypocrites among the muslims legally included as muslims ara inna hizb ash-shaitan hum al-khasirun they hold definitely the second party they will be the losers in the long run inna ladina yuhaddun allah wa rasuluhu ulaika fi nazalin 
verily those who oppose and fight Allah and His Messenger, they will be among the most humiliated ones. Katab Allah Allah has decided and prescribed and written it down. Certainly I and my messengers will be victorious. This is the divine law about messengers, not about prophets. Prophets were killed also. But no messenger of Allah could be killed. We have read this in Surah Al-Safat. وَلَقَ سَوَقَتْ كَلِمَتُنَا لِعْبَادِنَا الْمُرْسَلِينَ إِنَّهُمْ لَهُمُ الْمَنْسُورُونَ وَإِنَّ جُنْدَنَا لَهُمُ الْغَالِبُونَ This decision of ours has already passed. That those of our servants whom we appoint as our messenger, definitely they will be helped. And definitely our army will be victorious. So the same thing comes over here. As I told you, important subjects are sub discussed in Quran at least at two places. So Surah Safat, and here it is. Katab Allah al-Aghli bannana wa rasuli inna Allah al-Qabiyyun aziz. Verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is powerful and mighty. And he has all the authority in his hand. لا تجب قومن يؤمنون بالله واليوم الآخر. You will not find those people who really believe in Allah and the last day. يؤدون من حاد الله. Loving those who oppose Allah و رسوله 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 او ابناہم اور دیر سنس او اخوانہم اور دیر برادرز او اشیرتہم اور دیر کندرد اولائے کا کتاب فی قلوب ہیں ایمان they are the people in whose hearts اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی has inscribed and engraved ایمان وَيَّدَهُمْ بِرُوحِمْ مِنْهُ and has held them with a spirit from him that is جبرائیل بروح القدس فرق وَيُدْخِرُهُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِ مِنْ تَعْتِ الْنَحَارِ And he will make them enter and admit them in the gardens underneath which the rivers will be flowing. رضي الله عنهم Allah will be pleased with them وَرَضُوا عَنْ And they will be pleased with him. أُولَائِكَ حِسْبُ اللَّهِ They are the party of Allah. Now this is the polarization. On the basis of Allah and His Messenger. People who have belief in Allah and Messenger to this side. Those who don't believe on the other side. Even if he is your father, he is enemy of Allah, you can't love him, you can't have any relation with him. Even if he is your brother. وَلَوْ كَانَ آبَاهُمْ آبَاهُمْ وَابْنَاهُمْ اَوْ اِخْوَانَهُمْ اَوْ اَشْرِرَتَهُمْ Whosoever he might be. This polarization has to be complete. So that Hezbollah, it becomes absolutely pure and free. Ulaika Hezbollah. Now this word Hezbollah appears in this surah and also in Surah Al-Ma'idah. Fa'inna Hezbollahi humul ghaliboon. In Surah Al-Ma'idah, ghaliboon. The party of Allah will be dominant, will be victorious, will be supreme. And here, أُولَائِكَ حِزْبُ اللَّهِ أَلَا إِنَّا حِزْبَ اللَّهِ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ Verily, the حِزْبُ اللَّهِ They are going to be the prosperers and successors. فَلَا is for the hereafter. And غَلَبَة, domination, is in this world. So there are two promises of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the حِزْبُ اللَّهِ Number one, in this world, they will be helped and Allah will give them the victory. أَيْنَا فَإِنَّ حِزْبَ اللَّهِ هُمُ الْغَالِبُونَ This is in Surah Maidah. أَنْ دِرَا دِي حِزْبُ اللَّهِ أَلَا إِنَّ حِزْبَ اللَّهِ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ Verily, the people who belong to the Hizb of Allah, only they are going to succeed. Now let me, because I have two minutes, let me give you the hadith. The importance of this jama'ah. There's a hadith. إِنِّي آمُرُكُمْ بِخَمْسٍ the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Verily, O Muslims, I command you five things. Allahu amarani bihinna. And I am not doing it on my own. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded me to do so. What are those five things? 
بل جماعت پارٹی یو مسٹ بلانگ ٹو اے پارٹی و سم اے اینڈ ٹو لسن ٹو دی لیڈر آف دی پارٹی و تاتے اینڈ اوبینگ دی ڈیسیجنز آف دا پارٹی و الجہاد فی سبیل و الہجرا اینڈ میکنگ ہجرا ان دی وے آف اللہ و الجہاد فی سبیل اللہ اینڈ دین یو کین میک جہاد فی سبیل اللہ جہاد فی سبیل اللہ ایسنشلی As we read yesterday in Surah Al-Hujurat, if there is no jihad, there is no iman. It's the necessary constituent of iman. إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ سُبَّ لَمْ يَرْقَابُوا وَجَاهَدُوا بِأَمْوَالِهِمْ وَأَنفُسِهِمْ فِي سَوِي اللَّهِ أُولَائِكَ هُمُ الصَّادِقُونَ Verily the true Muslims are only those who believe in Allah and His Messenger. Then doubt not, and then they do jihad in the way of Allah. with their belongings and their lives. This jihad, for that you need a party. This party should be a very disciplined party. Some of that, listen and obey. To Adil Haris al-Ash'ari, رضي الله تعالى عن, قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم, إني آمركم بخمس, الله أمرني بهنا, بالجماعة والسمع والطاعة والهجرة والجهاد في سبيل الله. This hadith has been included by Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal in his Musnad. Also Imam Tirmidhi in his Jameh. And this thing has gone out of our sight and out of our mind. We don't feel something lacking. Are you involved in this struggle of Iqamat al-Din? Or not? If yes, with what group? Which party? If you don't. any party existing party go on you can form a party of your own all the parties today which are present they are also none of them is led by a nabi there is no nabi no nabi after muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so you can have the you are also not a nabi okay go ahead and you can have a party but without party la islama illa bil jamaah this is the saying of hazrat umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu And the saying of a messenger, of a companion of the messenger is also called hadith. This is hadith. And no less a companion than Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu. The second topmost sahabi. La islama illa bil jama'ah. Wala jama'ah illa bil imara. Wala imara illa bil sama'ah. Wala sama'ah illa bil ta'ah. No islam without jama'ah. No jama'ah without amir, imara. No use of having an amir. without listening to him and no use of listening to him if you are not obeying him may allah give us the right guidance and give us the correct understanding of our duties as muslims